What is going on guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. Today I got for you Ted Lasso season 2 episode 10 baby. Last episode was not a very good episode because it wasn't really an actual episode. It was just Beard going on this weird um, adventure and had nothing to do with the show at all. He went to the club, went to a woman's house got some pants got beat up by a professional soccer player's dad and yeah went to work the next day oh he also went to the club too so that was pretty much it so yeah this episode um we see rebecca and sam on the same bed <sighs> it looks like <laughs> they did it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm joking, but all jokes aside, now that's pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting them to actually, you know, com consummate, but they did it, and yeah, it's pretty crazy. So anyway, Rebecca's having, you know, the 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 best day ever, but then then her dad, she gets the news that her dad dies, and um, she's not. She doesn't seem too sad about it. You know, even her mom's kind of like playing some music. Never Give You Up by uh, Rick a Ashtley. I'd have looked that one up. <laughs> you know, I'm not uh, privy to like the 1990 songs, but yeah, it's a pretty popular song. I heard it before. And uh, she's playing that around the house on the day of the funeral. And Rebecca's like, yo, why are you playing this song? Like, and uh, mom's like, should, should we be sad? You know, it's a... Um, she doesn't want to be sad regardless of the situation and uh, yeah so um, after that we see that uh, Ted gets a panic attack before he heads to the funeral and um, you know I, I, it makes sense like Ted's father you know also is uh, is dead because he killed himself and um, this probably brought back some memories hearing the news about Rebecca's dad so yeah, he's he he gets a little panic attack. He calls a therapist, asks for some advice, and uh, yeah, the therapist answers, tells Ted to calm down. I'll be at your place in a few minutes. And um, so yeah, Rebecca and AFC Richmond and friends and family show up to the funeral, and um, yeah, we see that her mom's there, and uh, her friend from uh, the episode back. Uh, when she visited, she pulls up again. This friend also had some, you know, relations with Ted as well. And she brings her niece, Nora. And um, Keely's there as well. Keely, they're all in the same room. And Keely and um, Rebecca's mom kind of like suspect um, that Rebecca's seen someone because her whole attitude is, has changed. You know, she seems a lot more happier. And um, so they want to go and kind of like you know, you know, ask her, like, you know, try to get the information out of her, but it doesn't really take that long, because Keely guesses it, like, in one guess, she's like, yo, is it Sam, and Rebecca's like, yo, how did you know, and so, yeah, Keely, Keely's just got good guessing skills, I guess, so, yeah, shout out Keely for uh, nailing that on the money, um, Nora, calls uh, Rebecca a boss ass bitch because Sam is her favorite soccer player and so she gets the respect from a 13 year old girl <laughs> so yeah but anyway after that um, we see that you know uh, Rebecca and, and her mom kind of have like a little moment about their dad and like this moment is kind of like you know Rebecca kind of like giving her mom like yo this is the reason why I'm not s so sad about you know her my dad dying is because i i saw him cheat on you when i was you know a certain age when i and i caught him i caught him and so rebecca while she's telling this story to her mom we see that the therapist and ted also have have this uh session and ted explains why he um or ted explains how he saw his dad kill himself the day that his dad killed himself and he went up to the room and saw or didn't see but he heard a bang 
And this kind of reflects Rebecca's situation when she went up to the room and then opened the door and saw her dad bang another woman. So it's kind of messed up, but that's kind of like how the episode showcased those those two parallels right there. And uh, I would say that Ted's story kind of like is more traumatic but you can you know we should have minimized rebecca's trauma as well because that is traumatic to see your own father cheat on your mom right before your eyes like that could definitely impact you later on in life with your relationships because we see her and rupert you know like her relationship with rupert probably mirrors the relationship that rebecca has with rebecca's mom has with um rebecca's father you know and how she how rebecca put up with what rupert did to her throughout all those years and how we see that her mom kind of did the same thing with um rebecca's father so it kind of like you know it, it affects her in that way so yeah like what happens when you're a kid it will affect you later on in life is what we're seeing and that's an example of that and so ted finally you know he, he uh, explains the situation to the therapist the therapist is like you know you told me how much you hate your dad but tell me a story about why you love your dad and ted gives a story about how like he had to read this book in sixth grade and he didn't read it and there was a test the next day and then his dad says, how about you just go to bed and just think about something that you were looking forward to. And so the next day on the way to school, his dad drops him off. But during that journey, his dad tells him everything that happened in that book because his dad spent the whole day, whole night reading that entire book. And so now and then Ted ends up getting an A because of what his dad did for him. And so that was a pretty cool story. That is cheating. But you know as long as it happens only one time i think it's okay for a parent to do that you know um yeah and after the funeral or um during the funeral rebecca sings the rick ashley song um never gonna give you up and the whole crowd sings it as well and uh, it's kind of cool moment because um um it was kind of like a nod to like her mom, like she was playing it in the morning before the funeral and Rebecca sang it during the funeral, kind of like in a way it's like saying, OK, mom, I forgive you for what you did and all that. So. Um, uh, sorry, I was just hearing a lot of noise anyway. Um, after the funeral, we see that Jamie tells Keely i love you and that's not good i mean that that's not good for for uh, roy if roy hears that roy's gonna beat jamie's ass so keely's gonna have to it's gonna be interesting to see how keely um you know deals with that situation because keely was low-key eyeing jamie during the funeral so you know is keely having starting to get feelings for jamie I would say so, but I think she really loves Roy too. So I wouldn't think she would go behind Roy's back if she were to pursue Jamie. So I think um, Keely would end up breaking with Roy, but that's grimy. I don't think Roy could handle that. So it's going to be an interesting love triangle we, we're, we're going to see. And then um, we see that <clears throat> Rebecca ends up breaking things up with Sam because she just wants to you know take things slow i guess because she doesn't want to end up getting hurt so she tells sam yo you have a potential to hurt me because you know I, she really likes him and then we see that rupert gives back the shares of afc richmond and that was kind of like you know okay but why would he do that after he did that he goes and talks to nate and maybe he has shares in other, you know, soccer teams, and he's ask, asking Nate to be a coach for one of the soccer teams that he owns because he saw how Nate was able to coach AFC Richmond once Ted was gone. So maybe he's having that conversation. That's just a theory I'm having. I'm not saying it's, you know, it's um, it's true or not, but just think about it. Like, why else would he be talking to Nate after the funeral? 
you know so um yeah guys that's basically it for this episode pretty great episode especially after that lackluster episode we saw with the beard episode so yeah this has been the tv and movie podcast thank you for listening and watching i'll see you in the next episode bless up and peace Thank <laughs> you.